Fourier transform of unit impulse signal unit impulse is del t and del t is non zero at t equals to zero and then del t is zero when t is non zero and area under the curve of unit impulse is always one if i draw unit impulse then it it is tending towards infinity at t equals to 0 and it is 0 otherwise this is unit impulse now there is one more property of impulse that product of any signal with impulse is x0 del t. Suppose xt is any arbitrary signal, any arbitrary continuous time signal, something like this. And at t0, its value is x0, this signal is xt. At t equals to 0, value of signal is x0. If I take the product of del t and xt, then del t is 0 everywhere except for t equals to 0. So the product of xt and del t will give 0 everywhere other than t equals to 0. So the product of xt and del t will be zero everywhere except for t equals to zero and at t equals to zero this x zero gets multiplied with del t. So basically strength of impulse now becomes x0 the product is product of xt and del t is x0 del t now we will use this property to find the Fourier transform of del t Fourier transform of del t is integration of del t e to the power minus g omega t dt. Suppose e to the power minus g omega t is x t. Then the right hand side is del t into xt and del t into xt is del t into x0 and xt is e to the power minus j omega t so x0 is e to the power minus j omega 0 e to the power minus j omega 0 so e to the power minus j omega 0 is 1 so right hand in right hand side we just have 
integration of del t from minus infinity to plus infinity which gives the area under the curve, curve of impulse and area under the curve of impulse is unity so this is the fourier transform of del t fourier transform of del t is 1 in time domain signal is del t and in frequency domain signal is 1 signal is 1 for all frequencies So this is the Fourier transform of del T.